Hello, hello, hello. I'm the Painted Org and welcome back to Cabela's Big Game Hunter Pro Hunts. So for this episode, let's jump in. We are still in the southeast region. As you can remember from the last episode, we did this hunt, the flat-footed chase. The hunting of one black bear with a rifle. And we did the previous two episodes before that, we did in hunts in Buck Hill. Now at the bends, so maybe let's go to between Red Wallow and Fox Creek. But for that, we need a recurve bow. But we have 15,000 gear credits. So, recurve bow and 450 grain broadhead. So, let's go into this. Let's get our recurve bow with a broadhead. And uh, you know what? Let's try this. So, you're trying your hand at bow hunting. It's a great tradition, but there are some things you need to know. First, range is limited. A hundred yards is a very long range for a bow. An arrow flies pretty slowly compared to a bullet. Fast moving targets must be led, except at point blank range. The good news is, bow fire is less likely to spook an animal, but it still can. Go ahead and try to hit those targets. Which targets? I don't see Pull the bowstring all the way back before releasing. Keep in mind that the longer you hold your pull, the more tired your arm will get, and less steady your aim. I'm going to ignore that for now. I'm see I see a couple of deer moving. So I'm going to move to I wanted to say that I'm going to move to that blind, but it looks as if they are Yeah, you know, they are moving away. Now I have to be a bit more stealthy. Let's go to that side because see, can you decide which direction you'll be moving in? 121 126 It will seem it seems as if they don't know what, what direction they want to move in I don't know the drop off of this thing The last time I played this game was, uh, like, if I'm not mistaken, a couple of years ago now. And when I tried the game in, in between those times, I didn't use a bow. They're getting suspicious. Let's crawl. Stand still again. Why are you circling? Because you know that I'm here. Now I want to tag the one and shoot at the other. Just so I have a... I know where the other one is. 65 yards, that's a bit far. I want to crawl to these trees. I 
think that would be close enough. Make sure that I ping the one. Tree stand right there. And they are heading in that direction. Dear my walk into this. Hmm. Not too shabby. Double long shot. Double long shot. Excellent shot placement. Walk that was close. On. That was seriously close to hitting a female. We have our trophy. I don't know if I, as far as I can remember, I don't count female deer. That sounded suspect. Okay, the other deer is right in front of us. Got a red marker from this side. Don't know from what. Move on to the left of these trees. Don't have any cover on this side. They are heading back. They will smell me now. I do have a scent mask on. that one too much. Right height and everything but I let that one too much. Bit of a blood trail. Almost green now. Ah, it's heading back in this direction. Here's a tree or a stand.
Let's wait for him. Here he comes. Now we can wait. I don't think he will be able to spot me. Yeah. They will smell me now. If possible, I want to have a broadside shot at him. Kill. I could have slapped. I could slap this deer now. Yeah. I don't know how, did she smell me or what? Should have taken my shot there. Okay. Now the problem is there might be a spoor and blood trail on my first trip to that side. This direction now. Still yellow. Okay, he's starting to calm down. Watch the wind. You don't want to be caught flat footed if you're suddenly upwind of the animals. True, true. I believe I'm between the herd now. I can hear one on this side as well. We can get this buck. Now as soon as I get a shot I'm gonna take it. a lot of activity here. Yeah. Light out. And stay still. Why are you getting more suspicious? the best place to be but fish these ones actually trying oh, two different herds Let's try for that one but I don't want to leave an injured side because I believe you will pop out on the other side of that hill seem that way hey so I think I'm going to crawl up to that I have vantage point right there and hopefully they don't spook Hopefully the, the deer behind me spook doesn't affect this herd that I'm stalking now. It's 
still not too suspicious. Let's get up here. We were able to in intercept him. Now we can crawl again. Just stay in the shadows. There he is. But too far away. Just a little bit. Okay, now you are going away from me. I need to move a bit faster. Just a little bit, so I can intercept you. And again, they are moving back towards where they started. Just walk around the, this tree, or these trees. Watch the wind. You don't want to be caught flat-footed if you're suddenly upwind of the animals. Yeah, I know, I know. Just want to find this buck. Or claim this buck. Doesn't sound too far away. towards me was a bit more broadside I would have taken the shot now chances of being spotted by any of the other other members of the herd getting higher and higher because we are walking in the open Concentrating so hard now. Okay, there's So close to a spine shot. See, I still need to work on the lead. I definitely still need to work on the lead. I 
see if I can spot this guy from here. Make it a bit easier to anticipate his movements. This time is running out now. Okay. Let's see. The wind is in our favor. We will probably be moving to in this direction. So let's go over here. Looks as if he joined up with his, the rest of his herd. He's definitely moving to the right. Down. Finally. One hour left. Not the best shot, but hey, we got it. But I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope to see you in the next one. Cheerio.